Chris Lawrence is standing by live in Burleson with the very latest. Chris. Well, is the, I, I want to give you an idea of just how strong these winds were and, and what it was like to live through it. All right, you see that RV right there where it is now. Last night, that RV was right here. And a 17 year old girl named Brittany Deaton was trapped inside it. Her mom was telling her there are tornadoes coming, but she couldn't get out because there was all of this debris pressed up against the door. Her dad runs out of the house. He manages to pry the debris out. They start running away, trying to get back to the main house and the wind knocks the RV over, topples on top of them, and then just keeps going until it ends up right there. I mean, that is just one story. Your dad's still in the hospital right now. Uh, he is going to be okay. He's pretty banged up. He's hurt really bad, but he is gonna be okay. And that is just really one story that we have heard out here. Now I wanna give you a, sort of a big picture look. Let's take that shot we got earlier from HD Chopper 8. That's gonna give you more of a bird's eye view of exactly what has been happening here. So look, uh, we have seen homes with roofs blown off. We've seen tree limbs and debris just about everywhere. Uh, a lot of the cars and garages also took a big hit. And we've also learned uh, what happened in Westlake. A, a lightning strike sparked the house fire there near Broken Bend Drive. The good thing is everybody was able to make it out, including, I should say, everyone's pets. One firefighter was injured, but we've learned that firefighter is gonna be okay. Now, firefighters also believe uh, lightning set a much bigger fire at a pallet yard in Alvarado. That's about nine miles from here, and that's where my colleague Tiffany Liu is. And Tiffany, I understand this fire is still burning right now. Yeah, absolutely, Chris, and it has been burning all day and could for several more days. It is hard to believe that one lightning strike can take down a business that's been in the works for 18 years. I just want to show you guys right here behind me. You can see there are still several hot spots. There are firefighters that are working behind this metal fence right here. We're kind of off at a distance so that we could be safe here, but it started before 10 o'clock last night. It is contained, but like I mentioned, could take several days to put out fully. A fire alone can be devastating. I've experienced fires before, but nothing so personal. But add strong winds, a tornado warning, and a lot of hail. A blanket of hail, thousands of hail balls, uh, and they hurt. For Lynn Dykes, that's when adrenaline trumps fear. Well, that's when all heck broke loose. Around 945 Monday night, he noticed flames coming from the pallet yard next door. The gentleman next door had taken his family to a different location, and I looked at his house and noticed it was on fire in the back. Lynn said the high winds made the fire worse. That just intensified the fire in the pallet yard even that much more. He and his family were able to stop the fire from taking the neighbor's house. We were so concentrated on the fire that the tornado didn't even phase us. But the mom and pop pallet company, which has been in Alvarado for 18 years, is destroyed. I just wish them well on their recovery and uh, we'll be here to help them if we can. That evening, Lynn thought his own home would be gone if not by flames, then by the storm. He credits Rendon firefighters for saving his property. At one point they said, I don't know, you know if we're gonna be able to save it, and then a foam truck pulls up and they spray foam everywhere, and that's, that's what saved my house. Otherwise, we'd be looking at a pile of rubble here. A day later, though the wood is still smoldering next door, Lynn and his daughter Shelby are feeling grateful. It's wood, it's made to burn, so it has always been a fear of mine. She spent a lot of her childhood here and drove in from Fort Worth to check on her family. If it came down to it, we could have replaced the house and I couldn't replace him or my cousin or my great uncle that also lives here. So She calls it God's work. We had guardian angels looking over them last night. You guys, what you are seeing right here are firefighters continuing to work hard to try and put out these hot spots as the fire continues to burn here at this pallet yard. Um, you know, I spoke to the owner's daughter of this company and she says they are not ready to talk, which is absolutely understandable, but she does say that her dad has owned this business for 18 years now. Devastating to see it like this.